All right, now let's go back into this route and see what's up. Let's see what Mayumi had to say in the interrogation room. Police headquarters, Tuesday, 10.04 a.m. I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? I'll be honest. I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false confession. No, it's true. I kidnapped that witch. I took her to the warehouse and... Yeah, this was when like she was admitting that she was a Cyclops killer. Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out? Yes. And the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. And you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. You got to the top of abyss acting like that? I heard that she used to be an actress. Sounds about right. Okay, so... I don't think it's Mayumi. There's no way. She's too short, and the polar bear costume was way too big. For her so it has to be someone who is really tall plus she i don't think she's limping is she so there's no way sir were you the one who stabbed oda why did you kidnap iris why did you want to stream it online why did you kidnap iris my son is under that witch's spell merchandise concerts she's bleeding him dry i wanted to snap him out of it i wanted to save him by killing Iris. Why did she take out her eye then? Because I... I just hated her so much. Really? Killing her wasn't enough. Really? You're really not giving a good, like, reasoning here, lady. You know that, right? Were you the one who stabbed Oda? Well... Uh... Yep, hesitation. You can't bring yourself you to say it. You in the polar bear costume, right? That means you stabbed him. Yes, I, I stabbed him. Nope, it isn't him. With the Her. knife I brought from home. I, I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just. Dude, Mayumi, you're not really good at this. You know that, right? Why did you want to stream it online? Because the world needs to see that witch die. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about online streaming? I'm not stupid. I might be old, but... Could you explain it to me? Huh? Step by step. Just tell me what you did. I, I can't explain it in words. Yes, you can. It's more like muscle memory. I was able to get it working after trying a few times, that's all. Where did you get the camera and laptop? I picked them out of the garbage. And yeah, they were working? Which garbage? I, I, I don't remember. Why is she doing this? Like, why? It's true. I planned the whole thing. About the Cyclops killings, then. What do you know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. So this person in the polar bear costume, they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me that person is you? You killed Shoko and Renju? Yes, I killed them. What was your motive? Why are you lying? When and how did you kill her? When and how did you kill her? I guess well, Shoko. I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you really think that lie is going to work? I, I have a memory disorder. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. Yet you remember that you're the killer? But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. It changes. Date, Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. 
There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. Okay, what was your motive? Isn't Rinju Okura the president of that awful company where the witch works? He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. That's why I killed him. Then why did you kill Shoko? Rindu's ex-wife, right? Yeah, right. Like... I did it to get to him. But the two divorced four years ago. <laughs> that doesn't matter. The bonds of matrimony are eternal. In your opinion, I don't think Renju felt the same way. Uh, you are really starting to aggravate me. I'm sorry, lady. You're, you're really starting to aggravate me with how much you're trying to push this story that you're the killer. I answered your questions, so there. Why the fuck are you lying? Not lying. You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I killed Shoko and Rinju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half. Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. You seemed convinced earlier. I was kidding. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer! I am! Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. If Mayumi was at the scene before Ota... She may have seen the criminal's face. You know what I'm going to say, right? Date. Sync with her, right? Sync with her. Alright, let's do it. Computer, we're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. Um, well... Uh, what? What happened? The sync machine isn't operating to capacity. What? Why? Yesterday's sync... Well, suffice to say, uh, Oda and Date were... not too compatible. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard and now it's not responding ah, how fuck. long will it take to fix 16 hours at least you've got eight but that's impossible boss what do you keep doing this to me what did i ever do to you so we can't sink yet huh but we need to or this investigation is going nowhere Date. I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. Okay. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. I let Boss and Pewter know. Pewter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. But you said eight. Well, I said six now, so fuck you. Please, you have to give me at least eight. <laughs> Bad Pewter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. Yeah, Pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? Hey! This is a hostile work environment! I'm sure you'll handle it just fine, Pewter. Why would Mayumi lie? She is probably protecting someone. But, but who? Who? Surely you know by now. Oda? There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. But Oda was... Oda? Really? Ota? It's Ota. It has to be. But... Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? But why Last did he do night, that? Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi saw the whole thing. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the culprit. Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Yes. Why would he do that? Hmm. 
Before I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Like, low? Impossible. Why? Why can't Oda be the culprit? In yesterday's Somnium, Oda and the polar bear, the van stolen at Fomsto, Iris had her eye taken out. Uh, well, it's Somnium World, right? In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the polar bear. That was just a dream. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. Okay, well. Well, the van was stolen at the Fomsto, right? Yeah. The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. She could have been driving. How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. But you didn't detect her fingerprints on the steering wheel, right? The forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. That can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. Really? That's stretching it. All right, Iris had her eye taken out. Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? What? Or even asked Ota to do it. Perhaps she ordered him to. I don't understand. What are you talking about? What are you trying to short, do? Ota and Iris are accomplices. This was all a performance. A performance? Iris drove the Matsushita's van. Ota drove the station wagon. They went to the warehouse separately. Then, they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. Really? After that, Iris took her position on the table, and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the saw. Consider this. In the stream, Ota and the polar bear were never on screen at the same time. Yeah. True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then... But that, again, is stretching it. Stay away from Tessa! Perhaps Mayumi witnessed the entire event. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. So she lied to protect Ota. Yes, but this is only a theory. Okay, but I don't know. I just, I don't think Iris would kill herself like that, right? Why would they do that? Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renju. Oh, they do it to like cover her or something? Like make her a victim to it too? Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. That's why she pulled out her eye and had Ota stab himself. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. I will repeat myself in saying that this is only a theory. It is one of many possibilities. It's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. They wouldn't go that far just to avoid suspicion. Date, you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renju were both exposed and displayed. Yeah, they were. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still- Oh, sorry. They were still alive, yeah. Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic, or even psychotic. We can't rule anything out. But still, I really don't think it's Oda or Iris doing that. Masashita Diner, Tuesday, 11.15 a.m. Ota? Why are you... Why did you arrest Mom? You said you were gonna clear her! Why? Wow. Sorry, dude, but she said she was a killer. <laughs> it's 
fucking face. Are you worried about Iris? You doing okay? Are you worried about Mayumi? Why are you here? Are you doing okay? Okay? How could I be okay? I got stabbed by a serial killer. Easy, kid. You're gonna open up your stitches. <laughs> Don't give me that look, dude. Why are you here? When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's why I'm here. Oh, I see. Oh, damn it! I missed out on dialogue. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm not missing out on this dialogue. I need to look back, go back real quick. All right. Are you worried about Iris? So worried that my stomach is in knots. The surgery was successful, but they told me she isn't out of the ICU yet. Are you worried about Mayumi? Of course I am. That's my mom. What son wouldn't be worried about his mom? Okay, that was not, it's not much, but okay. Why are you here? I, I've seen this. It's not like Mayumi is under arrest. You asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes. But as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed, but it's highly likely that she's lying. So we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying. Mom didn't do it. She's innocent. Is Iris a criminal then? Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way. Tessa had her eye. She could have pulled it out herself, or asked you to do it. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? I was fighting for my life against the criminal. That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? It wouldn't be the first time you fake something, would it, Ota? Ooh. Yeah. Wow. That cut deep, Oda. Deeper than Oda's wound. Did you stage the warehouse incident? I'm telling you, I didn't! Then why is Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... dementia. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. Seems like it. About, his, about her dementia. Everything is my fault. It's because of me that Mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? Yeah. People who visited the park would stop here a lot. But ever since the explosion eight years ago... The chemical plant accident? Yeah. We're just barely outside of the restricted area, but... Because Bloom Park closed, the number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day. And he was a security guard and traffic cop at night. Mom worked as a janitor. They were both working hard and barely got any sleep. And you? I was just a high school student at the time. I was... such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. And they bought me a PC, and idol concert tickets. I had it good. But we were drowning in debt. Wow, debt? There's a loan on the house and the diner. Mom and Dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. So they slaved day and night to keep it open. They worked and worked and worked. 
thanks to them, I was even able to go to a good university. But right after I started, Dad... Passed away? Yeah. He had a heart attack. From overwork. But even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Wow. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, my mom didn't say a thing. She just smiled and told me that it was okay. Even when I told her I was going to drop out. Jeez. Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. What? Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Wow. A writer. Well, that's a good goal to have. But you really should finish college. You worked so hard to get in. You don't understand, Mom. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. Is that right? Well, Ota, if you say so, I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Ever and ever, I'll always support you, Ota. Aww. Wow, this. Wow, I. I didn't think Ota would get this much character. I'm surprised. You lied about the editor thing, right? Yeah. How do you guess? It was really just a few texts back and forth. But I was thrilled. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. But. It's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel. Not even once. I always give up after the first 5,000 words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit 10 times that. But mom, she still, she kept supporting me. When did Mayumi's Ill illness start? Not long after I quit college. Mom was always smiling at me. But I think she was starting to slip mentally. One day. Could it be that... Oh, what's wrong, Ota? Could it be that the mental illness happened because of the chemicals in the air? Was she, like, exposed to them for too long? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, right. You don't attend anymore. Oopsie. I totally forgot. How can you forget your own son's career choice? Sorry, sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? What? I ate breakfast and lunch already. Oh, did you? Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Why are you making fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Don't fuck with me! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Jeez. Listen to the rest of the story, okay? I got sick because I'm such a piece of shit. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. I was so stupid, I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. Jeez. And she got worse and worse. Oh. Oh, oh god. Dude, the voice acting in this game is just too good. Like, the, the voice actors are really nailing this so hard. About that picture. What's that picture? Oda turned the photo frame to me so I could see. Looking at this photo reminds me. One time, when I was a kid, I said something really bad to Mom and Dad. And they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything. But Dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. <laughs> My 
Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Hey, Iba. What is it? I don't like Ota one bit. <laughs> oh, wow. You say that just like that. I wow. I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. Why is that? Hearing his story made me think that he's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. Human beings are illogical. We're not like you AI. We can't be logical all the time. But we make up for it in one very important way. What is that? Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. Hmm. Iba, let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. We might be missing something. <sighs> Understood. Yeah, there were some like forklifts over there as well. Oda is sitting with a depressed look in his face. Yeah, there's a picture and everything. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's head over there then. It might have something to do with the forklifts or something. I'm starting to think that now it's going to come into play. Harbor Warehouse District, Tuesday, 12.50 p.m. Date, weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was, but a thought occurred to me. Which is? Which is what? Alright, policeman, police officer, he says he doesn't have any new information. Okia Coal Storage Warehouse. Other dude here. A police officer. Police officer. Ibis. Van, right? Who drove the van here? There are two possibilities. Either Iris or the criminal who kidnapped Iris. And Mayumi? Considering the time that she purchased the chocolate, that would be almost impossible. Yeah, but wait. If Mayumi was here, how did she get here? What vehicle did she use? The van was hijacked from the Famisto parking lot at 10.32 p.m. At that time, Mayumi was in the 812 convenience store more than 100 yards away. Okay. So, almost... Oh, oh I, I said it as So's name. So, almost certainly not her. There we go. Date, okay, but... look! A tongue fish on the ocean floor! A tongue fish? What's a tongue fish? A flat fish, like the sole of a shoe. You can see all the way down there? Of course I can. My vision and my looks are my best qualities. <laughs> oh, God. This fucking idiot. Okay, so... Maybe it's this thing. Here, I station wagon. Are you sure that Ota took this car? As I've already explained, the security cameras at the Famisto parking lot saw the entire incident clearly. So it was definitely Ota who drove it here. Why are you stating the obvious? Wh why? We found the chocolate Mayumi bought on the floor of the cold storage warehouse. But that doesn't prove she was actually at the scene. If she was, how did she get here? Yeah, how did she get here? She wasn't in the van or the station wagon. Of course. A different car. I will search for all vehicles that were in this area from Sunday night to Monday morning. Iba connected to the end system server and began her research. She got a result in no time. Found one hit. A taxi. Where is that taxi now? It is parked in Lemnus Gate's parking lot. At Lemnus Gate? Why? Unknown. But we should speak with the driver immediately. Seems like it. Okay, but why did my why did she come here specifically? How did she know to come here? That's my Iba, question. What's in this box? Your favorite kind of reading material, and a lot of it. <laughs> Academic research papers on criminology? No, the kind that features gratuitous nudity. Oh my gosh, a wooden box. I've got to make up some kind of excuse to grab that box. I should probably get Mizuki to help me out with that. This crane looks like it could pierce the Just sky. Just like my you-know-what. <laughs> oh my god, Date. What is your you-know-what? You know? No, I don't. It could only be one thing. Oh, your ego? No, not my ego. Oh my gosh. Why let skate, I wonder. Lemnus Gate, 
Tuesday, 1.36 p.m. Hey, got a minute? Hmm, are you talking to moi? Oh my gosh, what the fuck is with that face of yours? You look kind of dead inside, dude. And why did you say moi? Now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? Moi? I am but a humble taxi cab driver. There we go. I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. Okay. Eh, uh, eh, raise Big Boob Receptionist. Oh my god, you actually talked to her. Okay, alright, alright, hold on. Abstract painting. Oh. Have you taken note of the painting? Oh my god, what what ridiculous thing do you have to say this time? It's titled, Lions Fishing, Carpe Diem. <laughs> it's an incomprehensible, it's still incomprehensible. I don't know what the fuck these people are talking about. A high stool. It's like a tall seat. Why are you stating the obvious? Come on, you know it's just like that. That's what they call them back in the day when they were first invented. No, they weren't, Dante. Plant. Dante, look, an ant lion. Yay! Go ant lion. <laughs> you know, Iba is really adorable when she like goes crazy over bugs. Iba has a strange fascination with insects. It's really getting on my nerves. All right, what is this? Ah, this is Magnus Spiel. How do you know? <laughs> Magnus Spiel's promotion video is playing. I wonder if this is something I can just look up and see what this is. Ooh, my favorite place in the world. Lots of magazines in that rack. Teacher, anyone can run a pyramid scheme. I believe I'll purchase that on my way home. What? Pyramid? I don't, I don't fucking know. Sofa king. Dante, what is with you in seats? I swear. Like, you go crazy over benches and now you're talking like... Crazy when you're around sofas. Like, I think Dante has like a seat fetish or something. All right, <laughs> let's talk to the girl again. Hey, you want to go to a Tommy again? Hell yeah, I do. Is it business as usual here? What? You gotta come close. <laughs> <to the scenario. laughs> oh my shit! Oh my god! I walk closer to the receptionist. Oh. Shut down for even a day, we throw everyone else's schedules off. So they want to avoid that, of course. They're just head all the way back here again. So about Iris. What? Why did you leave here? You're gonna ask me something. You're too far away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't believe Tessa became a victim too. It's like seriously, can you not? What if I'm next? Freaks me out. Dante, could you introduce me to some big, strong man who can protect me? Well, you're looking right at him, baby. Oh, hell yes. Let's have sex sometimes in a tubby again, okay? Hell yeah. It's a date. Nah. I'm sure you'll be fine on your own. No. I'll totally die. Like, seriously. Have you ever died before? It fucking sucks. All right, I'll head back all the way over here to see, okay? I'm definitely not gonna ask you anything else, okay? Definitely not. Hey, do you want to get some food sometime? What? Huh? I can't hear you. <laughs> oh my god. I walked closer Hello. to the receptionist. You asked me out before, didn't you? Wait. Did he? Wait. Did he? Did he? Wait. Hold on. Did we? Wait. Did the path branch off after? No. No, there's no way. Wait! Oh, oh my god. Is it actually accounting for the that uh, a Tommy date? But it's kind of complicated. I told you, I am reptilian. Oh, oh, never mind. It, that was that before. Okay. But you were just joking, right? No, I'm serious. I only eat vegetables. Uh, I think you mean you're a vegetarian. I am fairly sure she means vegetarian. All right, definitely won't ask you anything ever again all the way from over here. It's it's her with the big tits, yes, and the one I I had good sex with on Tommy too. Oh man, that was good. 
I'll remember that until the day I die. Where are you from? What are you doing here? About Mayumi. Okay, what are you doing here? I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. I was informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. Okay, where are you from? I was born in Kawago, Saitama. Then why do you talk like that? I don't know what you mean. I've spoken this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. Okay. About my you Oh wait, no. Hold on. About my Yumi. Before I arrive at Lemnis Gate, I got a picture of my Yumi from Abyss. I showed it to the driver. Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Oh, I did indeed. I remember her well. The old hag. Old hag? I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. What? Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. Describe what happened with Mayumi, then. Hmm. I recall it was around 10 in the evening. Near the Kawasaki district, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. That's where I picked up the old hag. Why does he keep calling her old hag? And as soon as she stepped foot in my conveyance, she was already barking orders at me. Follow that van, hurry! I must admit, I found it rather exciting, just like an old chase film. I, of course, insisted that I be paid up front. We pursued the van for roughly half an hour. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. The Famisto along Koshu, right? Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. So I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8th store, but 100 yards from there, while waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move. The old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the 8th. This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. If the driver's story is correct... Did that would mean Mayumi got there before Oda. Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind at the Famisto. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. Okay. Oh, so she must have seen... But wait. She would have seen Oda come into the warehouse, right? Listen to the rest of the story. We then arrived at a splendid manor. The van entered the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. We, of course, could not follow, so we waited outside. I estimate another ten minutes passed. The front gate opened once again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. A manor? But thirty minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? Wait. No, back up! What, what was the matter? The van drove into the restricted Kawasaki district. <laughs> the old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. But I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up. So we began our stakeout. You actually walked there? What? About 45 minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. Thus, <laughs> I can approximate the time. Really? <laughs> wow. I see. Please continue. At 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends. The van returned down the same street. And thus, we again made pursuit. Okay. I kept considerable distance. We had come so far. 
I did not want to get caught now. Man, you were really into this whole thing for being a taxi driver. But my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the RERK warehouses. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. I have one more question. What the fuck, dude? I'll follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Yeah, that thing. Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. It is the personal home of Congressman So Sejima. What? Really? Sejima? Why did the van go to So's house? We need to speak with him immediately. Agreed. Let's move. Self-employed taxi driver. I see. So he must have. He really did have something to do with it. But again, like, there must be more to it. This might explain what we didn't know in Mizuki's route. Sejima's residence, Tuesday, two twenty-one p.m. There's no one here. Indeed. I don't see So or his bodyguards. I do not detect them either. Let's go inside. Hey, Aiba. Do you smell something funny? You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, correct? Oh, right. Oh, what is it you smell? Large face? There's something strange about this face. Ugh. What is it? This is definitely where the smell is coming from. No way! Is Oh, no. I remember Peter saying something about So Sejima's body being cut up to pieces and found in a vase. Is this it? Is there something inside? Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. Yeah. Then, as a standard procedure... Uh... Oh, shit. I am not ready for what's inside. Shit. What the... Date, destroy the vase. Got it. Oh, God, what the fuck? So, Sejima? Dude, what? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? I didn't even get a chance to look ar around the place. Oh, my God. This is just getting too crazy right now. So, his body... Cut into pieces. Base shards. So's head. That is the head of So Sejima. The left eye is hollowed out. This is most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. Wait. Hold on. Again with boss? When did this, when did this happen? Do you have an estimated time of death? Today, sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. Okay, uh, at what time did this happen? Right? Right? That's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita Diner. Oh, then he has an alibi, then. At that time, Mayumi was in police custody and Iris was in the ICU of Central Hospital. Then they're all ruled they out. Not moved. That means Ota, Mayumi, and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new Cyclops killer. Damn it! Right. Who is it? By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Does So have family? 
So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. Oh. Yeah, I remember, like, in, like, yeah, in, in Mizuki's route, he said that, he said after killing Date that killed by her own father. Is so really Date's this father? Is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? Do you find that suspicious? No, just... Date, a call from Huda. Connect me. Date, the sick machine is up and running. You can sync with Mayumi now. Oh, thanks, Pewter. But there are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah, I found Sosajima's body with the left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sajima household. Send the investigation team over. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I want to I want to look back real quick. Sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. Yeah, Pewter said before that he hasn't seen Boss since noon. And the estimated time of So's death was 11 a.m. to noon. I wonder if this really solidifies the fact that Boss is the new Cyclops killer. And once again, there's no alibi for her. Why so? I can answer your questions when I get back to Abyss. Got it. Date, what is your plan? Wait until crime scene investigation arrives? No. There's something I need to do. If that taxi driver was telling the truth, Mayumi was at the warehouse yesterday. Yeah. And we know the chocolate we found at this scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Then... Yeah. We're gonna sync with Mayumi. Jeez. Once again, the story is really moving quick. I mean, I'm not complaining about that because the story has been, like, slow for the first few bits of it. Police headquarters, Tuesday, 3.09 p.m. Doesn't matter. The sink is what's important. If we sink into Mayumi's brain, that might help us find the real culprit. I understand. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's begin. Thank God I didn't tell me there was gonna be six minutes in my time limit. Oh yeah, by the way, you have six minutes, Dante. God damn it! Matsushita Diner, though it looks odd. Likely an effect of the dementia. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, it could help her remember everything. Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Yeah, I think it's just you pulling something out of your ass, Date. Well, no, I'm not. To lock number one, number two, something over there, number three, number four. Oh, there are five. Sinking in the sustain. Find Mayumi's lost memories. Reproduce memory. Reproduce Mayumi's past. Of course. 
reproduced Mayumi's past actions to invoke her lost memories. Alright, let's see. There's a sliding door over there. Wall clock, calendar. There's a chair here. Hmm. I think it's a sliding door I have to do it with. Do it with. Yeah. The sliding door at the entrance. Who could that be? Leave us alone. We're closed. Welcome. Welcome back. I'm thinking that's Oda. So. Welcome back. Welcome back, Oda. You're late today. I'm home. Are you not hungry? Today's dinner is omelet rice. Your favorite. Brad isn't back yet, but you can start eating. Again? I'm okay. I ate already. But... I'm fine. Uh, Oda, wait! Oh, I see. Part of the diner has manifested. Maybe this is one of the memories she forgot. It must be important to her, though. It looks like a sad memory. It doesn't matter if it's sad. It's still important. Yeah. Agent Dante? Got five minutes. Okay, let's see. Phone, swinging door, beer poster. Uh, let's see. Maybe the phone? Oh. It's the phone. Maybe try picking it up? Roger. Wrong number. My husband? To go order? My husband? My husband? Yes, Matsushita Diner. Yes. Well. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. What? My, my husband. Why? How did this happen? Oh. That's line number one. Heard about Mr. Matsushita. His death. Yeah. Man, this is a really sad family. To have gone through all of this, like, wow. The diner has changed again. However, these memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Mayumi? Maybe, but we have to see this through. We have to. Understood. Man, that's rough. Okay, let's think. What else? Wall clock, cake, bucket, autograph. Uh, a bucket? A bucket. Delicious! Let's wear it! Uh, okay, I, I don't think this has any relevance to it. Maybe the cake. A delicious cake. I wonder who it's for. Thank you. Congratulations, Oda. Congratulations, Dad. Let's push your face. Let's push your face in it. Uh, is it for Oda or maybe thank you? Hmm. It must be for Oda or something. Congratulations, Ota. I'm home. Ota. Oh, that's to Carol. Congratulations on getting into the university, son. Congratulations. Hooray! Congrats. Aww. Shit, this is just a... <laughs> wow. This has got to be a really rough family to have gone through all of this. <laughs> He's wearing her like a hat. God. They must have been really happy. Okay, that part is. Ota was quite the spoiled child, wasn't he? He definitely had a lot of growing up to do. But that's what makes him so important to Mayumi. I see. Yeah, I see. So, is it ready yet? I don't think it is. Dante, you've got four minutes. An envelope. 
calendar wall clock. What's this envelope here? It's an envelope. Some kind of mail? This is a bank statement. The Matsushita family's loan. Uh, let's burn it and throw it away. Let's do our best. Let's take a break. Let's forget about it. Uh, shoot. Let's say let's do our best then. Let's do our best. Supporting Oto. Jeez, man. You really look like that one dude from like My Hero Academia. Like I forgot his name, but he looks like Lucas from uh from uh what was it called? Shit, I forgot the name. Okay. We'll work harder for Ota's dream. Jeez, I'm doing a good job with this. Like I'm getting like all the answers right. Unlocked Number three, determined to do my best. We reproduced another painful memory. No, not quite. Are you certain? Mayumi was under a heavy burden of debt and stress running the diner. That's true, but sometimes hardship is worth it. Is that so? Okay. Is there something here that I should be looking for or something? Oh, there it is. What? All right. Oh, it's an order of command sticker here. It's a sticker from a chocolate candy. Welcome home. Did you get it for me? It? This is Oto when he was small. An A set figure. Omelet rice. Don't be selfish, chocolate. Do you mean chocolate? Yeah, Odoroki man, remember? Oh, that. Yes, of course I bought it. <laughs> she eat it up or something? Look, the Momonoki man chocolate oh. that you like. Here you go. That's not it. Oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki man. Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. All right, this should be one more to go. You're not just a dummy. You're a super dummy idiot. Wow. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. Uh, no wonder Oda grew up the way he was. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Stupid. It's not Momonoki Man, it's Odoroki Man! I hate this! I hate you, Mom! Shit, man. Like, fuck, wow. What? Wait, Ota! Uh, uh, where did you go? Uh, uh, please, come out from hiding, Ota! Ota, I'm sorry! Mommy won't make any mistakes anymore, Ota! Ota! Come back! Ota! Shit. Wait. Wait, what? The fuck happened? Ota? After all... Don't leave me! Don't leave me alone! I, I, I am sorry, Ota! Ota! Takaro! I can't do this on my own! Don't leave me! God. Man. Man, this game is just can really nail sadness when it needs to. Like, dude. So that's what happened. Date, 
Look at what you've done. If Naomi wakes up after all this trauma... I know it's risky, but we're here for a reason. What are you planning? We have to keep going. Just a little more to awaken her past. But... If she loves her family this much, there has to be something. There has to be a precious memory hidden deep within. Is that... your intuition? It is. Hmm. The wall clock here... Can't do anything with her. Let's see the clock then. A wall clock. Turn back time, advance time. Uh, hmm. Maybe a uh, advance time. Hold on, did I like branch off pass again or something? That's no way. Ota, sweetie. Ma. I. Uh, I. Uh... <sighs> we know we can be a hassle sometimes, so. Huh, Ota. Jeez. Wow. Me too, Ota. God, this is a I love you both so much. I'll love you both no matter what. Oh, forever and ever. Oh, oh, I'll never forget this. This is this is so fucking happy. We are a family. We can do anything. Yes. Yeah. Looks like it's okay to go back now. Yes. I agree. By the way, Dato. Hmm? I admit, it is useful every now and then. What is? Your intuition. Man, that wow. That was honestly a really good Somnium. Like just wow. This game is really good at nailing down the emotions of the characters. Like wow. Again, I am really shocked that this game got review bombed so bad, but it's a really good game in my opinion. I'm I'm really enjoying this let's play. Day five Tuesday. Sho Shokuzai. Central Hospital. Tuesday, five twenty two PM. But we didn't discover anything new, did we? I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. Oh, I'm so glad. Please, please. But, Mom, why did you think I did it? About that. I explained to Oda. On Sunday night, Mayumi was following the van driven by Oda in a taxi. But when the van was hijacked on the, in the Famisto parking lot, Mayumi was, Mayumi was at another convenience store nearby, buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. But wait, 
didn't the taxi driver see it, at least? I just realized, maybe the taxi driver could have seen it. That's why Mayumi thought Oda was still in the van when he drove away. So she kept following it. The van drove all over Tokyo and eventually wound up in the warehouse district near the docks. Mayumi got out of the taxi and followed the van on foot. The van was later found at the Okiyora Fishery Cold Store's warehouse. Mayumi walked into the warehouse and discovered the, and discovered the grisly scene. A polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota. But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... Oh, did she, like, remember, like, she wanted to get him a chocolate? You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah, but I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. That's not it! Oh, honey! I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No! I told you! It's Odoroki Man! Oh. Sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. I think she had this even before, like, Oda left college. You're not just a dummy. You're a super dummy idiot! Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. Man, it really did take Oda such a long time for him to realize that. I'll buy you a real Momonoki Man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man, it's Odoroki Man! After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because mom is stupid. You're stupid to call your mother stupid. Uh... Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But, but... When she comes back, you apologize. You understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt. I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart, it didn't go away. Even after I apologized to her. Jeez, man. Like, wow. After that, things got awkward with mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota. How about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Wait. His, that voice actor. Is that Igor's voice actor from Persona 5? Why don't we get a gift for your mom? Hmm? A gift? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how mom always takes care of us. Yeah, it, it is. It is Igor's voice actor from Persona 5. We should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. At least I think it is. So, on Mother's Day, 
I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling, like full on crying. Oh, you boys. I don't deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. You do deserve it, mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. Right, dad? Oh, um, uh, yes. Mom is the best mom in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Say cheese. God, this is a really happy family. Like, just, man. Sorry. My heart fluttered a little bit there. Like, wow. This game is just so fucking good at nailing the emotions. I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Mom. It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? She was thinking of nothing but you. Aww. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. Dude. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe in Mayumi's head. You're still young, Ota. Uh? I don't know. I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Oh, man. This game. I swear. It really makes you feel for these characters. Like, I, I, I feel like a bro broken record for this, but this game is really good. It's really good. It's really, really, really good. But I'm still curious about what happened there. Like, if it wasn't Mayumi, So's dead, but So is limping. So, I'm just trying to figure out what all this is. And just trying to figure out who's the new Cyclops killer. Because he's still out there. And we've got to figure out what it is. Oh, Mayumi. Talk to her. Uh, what happens now? Okay, talk to her. I'm sorry. Who are you again? I'm Date. I'm Ota's friend. Ota's friend? Is that I hope you two get along. Oh, Mom. Mayumi's sitting quietly. God damn, this game. It's this music. It's just... Wow. What happens now? I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers, or be a janitor, or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not gonna give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. Jeez, Oda's going through a really good development. Like, I did not expect him to, to even... Get this level of development. I'm just loving how I I am turning starting to like like Oda a little more, and I think that's the best thing about this game. It makes you dislike a character initially, but then and but then when you really get into the story, man, you'll start to really like them. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. 
Oh, she is? R really? Yeah. She's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe. Just maybe. She'll finally get into bed with me? No! Huh? Maybe what? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Is Iris your girlfriend? Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's a great girl. Oh my, I'm looking forward to it. Is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financer? Oh, Beyonce. Oh, yes! Yes, that's it! <laughs> Jeez, Mom. <laughs> God, this is just, this was like a really good route, too. Still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Looks like another all nighter. Okay, that's done. Is there gonna be cussing too? Police headquarters, Tuesday, ten thirty-one p.m. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None. Zero clue. Not exactly. We have two clues. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? Okay. Boss went to her desk and moved her mouse. I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes. After Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Okay, what happened? Oh yeah, this thing. Tessa, wait. What did she say uh, to What did she say to Mayumi? You witch. There, stop it. Okay. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah. Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi. Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. Okay. You witch! Oh. She had the you, knife. You stay away from my boy! What? Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? No. Everything's fine. Wait, what? Okay, let's go. She took the knife from her? Ota. Wait, what? What? Hey, what's this? What? She took the knife from Mayumi? Wait. Then the knife would- Wait, what the- What? Hold on, what? But how did the polar bear get it? What? Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. Uh, okay. If Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Yeah? 
Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. But why would she have the knife in the first place? The Misto parking lot? Whatever. We can think about it later. Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait. If it really was Sosajima who was in the polar bear costume, then... Does that mean Iris and So work together, then? Is that what this is? But... Why would Iris work for So? And... Wait... And again, why would So be the Cyclops killer if it is So? And if Iris were the Cyclops killer, why would she do it? Again, why would they take the left eye? You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? Oh wait, what? What's with Bio Boss's eyes? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. Which was? An object. A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. What? Ota route end. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait. Oh, Shoko's eye was in Renju's body. Then I guess the new Cyclops killer put it there. Man, oh god. I knew this route was gonna give me something wild. Jeez, I, I, I didn't think that would happen, but... Oh man, like... Now I need to process all of this. Okay. So, wait. Wait, hold on. Is this... Is this loud? It's still locked for some reason. So I'm gonna have to wait more on that part, but shit. Shoko's eyeball was in Renju's like intestines, but why would they put it there? What reason do they have to put her eyeball in Renju's body? And second, why would Iris take the knife from Ayumi? What was she doing with it? And then there's Sosajima and her possible involvement with So because I remember So was in her Somnium. So I'm really starting to think that Iris and So are so are working together somehow. Just somehow. I don't know where this is all going to connect to, but I feel like it's going to connect to something really big. And then there's still Boss killing Sosajima. I think she was the one who killed So in this route. So, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out boss's involvement. Then there's the Kumakuras. Then there's Rohan being in like Hitomi's house, and we still don't know what happened with Hitomi too. Man, this story is really, really mysterious and really good too, because I'm just sitting here trying to figure out all the pieces, putting them all together into a good theory, and then just waiting for the story to explain to us. Because, man, this this game's really good. It's really good. It, it, it did not deserve the controversy it got, to be honest. I didn't mention this before in the start of the video, but I do realize that the controversy was because Mizuki said that stuff about the LGBT. And really, I only had, like, one little issue with it, and it's mostly that it paints the uh, LGBT community in such a positive and perfect light when it really isn't. But that's about, about as much as I'll say about that opinion. But it's still how she is and just, you know, how the writer wants to put it in. It's like, I think it's fine. I don't think it's anything to, like, get so worked up on, so... If that's like the worst part of this game, and that and that we're long past it, I think it's okay. I, I don't think it's that big of an issue, because now, like after we got that, we got Mizuki's route and Oda's route, both of which were really good. They were really, really good, and I cannot wait for Iris's route and hopefully for Hitomi's route. Mm. If Hitomi has a route on the level of Oda's and Misukis and oh god, game of the year.
fuck. This game was fucking good. Like, way too good so far. And so, finally, we are completely done with this side. Except for this part. Which I'm guessing is going to get unlocked once I get further in this area here. So, we'll just have to wait for all that in the next episode. So, anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this long episode. Well, actually, it's like a two-parter because, you know, I decided to do a two-parter because of that bad Code Vein episode. And I'm going to, like, do another recording of Code Vein later tonight since I'm doing this on Friday. So, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of work cut out for me. But I think that'll be the fun part. So, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, a comment, and a favorite. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next episode. Bye!